Take a close look at your peach, plum, apricot, or cherry tree and you might see a sticky situation. Sap oozing from branches and trunks can form large, globby, amber to dark brown coatings over the bark. Known as gamosis, there are several causes for this, one of which can actually be a fungus called Cytospora. Two subgroups of Leucocytospora cinta attack stone fruit trees and are found in all fruit growing areas in Colorado. Infection causes cankers that eventually girdle and kill branches or even the tree itself. Infected trees usually start blooming later, forming fruit that is delayed in reaching maturity, and at risk from spoiling from fall frost and freezes. Spores of Cytospora fungus are on bark surfaces year-round, but it's during fall and winter when they infect the wood, attacking when the tree is dormant and can't defend itself. The fungus grows in the bark during winter when temperatures are above freezing. Later, the fungus moves into the phloem and xylem, also known as the vascular system, of the tree during summer. In spring, cankers develop. Look for sunken, discolored areas with light and dark concentric circles of dead tissue. As the cankers enlarge, the tree starts oozing a dark, gummy sap at or above the infection site, eventually covering the diseased area. This gamosis, the oozing of thick sap, can be caused by other factors that stress the tree, such as drought, injury, insect damage, or poor fertilization. Spontaneous gumming can also result from forced growth due to too much fertilizer or sudden excessive inputs of water, such as what occurred after the flood of 2013. Even if the tree is dormant, the disease may be active, and pruning during this time is an easy way for the disease to spread, so help control Cytospora by timing your pruning for as late in the spring as possible. Sterilize the pruning tools between each cut, and if possible, save the diseased areas for last so pruning will not spread the fungus to new areas.